Welcome everyone. Uh, it is time for Gran Turismo again. Today it is going to be La Festa Cavallino, which pretty much is a Ferrari challenge. Uh, assortment of Ferrari cars. Uh, when we look at the main rival cars, that's what we can expect on the racetrack. I don't see any race cars, just the sports road cars. So we won't see any GT3s or GT4s, at least that's the assumption. Obviously I haven't done it. This is all spontaneous racing. I don't have a big selection of Ferrari cars and I spent 20 millions uh, on a Ford. So I don't have a lot of credits to buy new Ferrari cars, but I have a few. Okay, first race truck, Maggiore, like Lake Maggiore circuit, which uh, is a, a fantasy truck. Oh, great, right? Fantasy truck. Uh, let's see what cars we have available. Uh, so we have we have assortment of different Ferraris, though four of them are GT3s. Uh, I guess this is the stupid roulette, which gives you the cars you already have. Uh, Dino. I think this is going to be our first one. We've got two, red and blue. Who drives a blue Ferrari, right? Ferrari has to be red. And this one is already tuned a little bit to N300. N600 was showing there at the selection screen of the race trucks. So let's go with this one. We are in the H mode. That's what we are going to need because that's a really old car and it didn't have puddles or sequential. It was a traditional clutch and a gear lever. So that's what we're going to do today. It's going to be fun. Let's have a look at that car settings. I don't want to drive. So we have Enzo, we have Italia, GTO, 512, F40, 458, Italia again, and LaFerrari. Yeah, so I'm having pretty old car against beasts like LaFerrari, Enzo, and whatnot. And F40 is a beast as well. So, that's as light as it can be. That's as powerful as it can be. I don't think I can do it, but to give myself an edge, I cannot choose a racing tires. Great, so racing soft is as far as I can go. So I'll be trying to do something in that old car against this new hypercars. And I think LaFerrari qualifies as a hypercar with its price tag of what, million dollars or million pounds or whatever it is. Yeah, the drive time won't change. Manual transition. No, no sequential. That car didn't have sequential. It had a manual transmission. Um, yeah, there's not much more I'll be able to change it. So, let's give it a try. I don't think I can win it. <laughs> but, I'm willing to try. Right? my mistake that's uh, because of the way how I downshifted we have eight laps to get to the first place That car is quite hard to drive, no questions asked here. As soon as I release that uh, brake pedal, it goes sideways. Oh, 
nice uh, Italia. Oh, is it Enzo? I don't. That, no, it's Enzo, not Italia. It's driving quite slowly for such a beast of a car. So I'm still staying at 30 seconds to the first one, which is not good. I gained something, but it's no I'm not doing it fast enough to actually achieve anything in the race. Actually, not missing the power in that car. What I'm missing is drivability. Yeah, that's not the camera. Seven seconds. No chance of catching up to the first one. I'm curious what the first car is. That is the Ferrari. That thing has some acceleration there. Why the third gear here? I was usually negotiating the turn. The second. That was a small change. I don't want to crash into this multi million dollar cars. Another Ford repair bill. Wink, wink. Oh, he crashed to me. How oh, great! And I try to be a nice guy here. And there are the bullies. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Man. Someone should tell him not to jump in front of the car in the braking zone. 
I know that he has a lot of power and can do it easily in terms of acceleration, top speed and braking performance, but yeah, that was that is also a type of booing. If you jump in front of a shit old car, well maybe not shit. In the braking zone. Reduce the gap to 22 seconds at that stage. With three laps left, no chance to win it, but we'll see how far I can get. So I guess you just try to turn like I was never there, right? That's typical AI behavior. But it's also behavior of many players in online game. Seventeen seconds. seconds in the final lap. But I think uh, I'm not able to do it in Ferrari Dino. I'm not sure how it would be if I was driving on puddles rather than driving on um, a shifter. But I don't think I would be able to do it. The car is really cool, fun to drive. But 
the fun to drive bar doesn't come with the drivability bar, unfortunately. It slides a lot. One has to be really easy with the accelerator in that car. Just below 13 seconds uh, from 13 from 30. So I gain around 17 seconds. Uh, it was not three Italians in the first place, and then 512, which I almost uh, caught up with. Uh, but yeah, those Italians will be way too hard to catch. Uh, at least I got some car handicap and clear race bonus, which is always nice. But Oh, thank you, thank you, and hello, uh, hello, hello, and thank you very much. Yeah, that drifting unfortunately wasn't uh, planned. It's just how that car drives. It's really hard to drive. So I won't be, I won't be attempting that with uh, Dino anymore. Uh, Dino's just not up to the task. Uh, yeah, I need. To, oh no, oh, no, that mis that's a, that was a mistake. I, I said I won't be doing that in, in Dino. I don't think I can. I need better Ferrari uh, than Dino. Uh, as much as I like the Dino and it's cool car, uh, it's uh, it's too slow. I think a 40 would be next step, or maybe that 512. So we're going through N300, and that's the maximum I can tune it to. It can't go any higher than that. To N500, uh, while well, Enzo is 700, and I don't even have La Ferrari. Um, let's try that. That's another nice Ferrari. Aren't they all nice? They, after all, they're Ferraris, right? Ferrari. Ferraris are nice. First of all, I want to see what we have here. Uh, that's partially tuned. Uh, I'm going to buy all the other options. Uh, traction control is off, as it should be. Uh, sports softs are the best I can go for, so that's what I'm going for. Uh, brake balance, yeah, a little bit to the front. Now, this is as light as it can go, and I could bring the power up to 180, which would bring it to N600 group. I will reduce it to keep it in N500. Yeah, that's quite a big reduction. Here we go. So that's the maximum I can go for to keep it in N500. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try it that way. So that's another old car where we have to use the H shifter. Fourth gear. Okay, 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 okay. I think that car lacks in the braking department. Or it just faster than Dino, and I was uh, I was braking too late probably. So next time I have to remember to start a bit earlier. I don't want to crash in those cars. So under acceleration, I can feel quite a lot of uh, understeer, so I have to reduce the pressure on the accelerator just to keep the car within the truck limits. Oh, he didn't leave me, he didn't left me, sorry, he didn't leave me a lot of space there and then he brakes here. Not really expected. Okay, 
Okay, that was a good braking point this time. Stop just in time. I mean, slow down just to the right speed before that corner to negotiate it safely. Stop there, they don't want to they don't want to crash into him. Sometimes it's better to upshift a bit earlier just to get some more traction into these wheels. Bloody hell. They braking in such a strange places. Trying to avoid him. I went into a uncontrollable slide and crash into the wall. Which means I'm going to lose the clean race bonus because of that. And now he crashed into me because yeah, because reasons. out of 8 and I still have 17 seconds first okay I know that this is at 40 so he's going to break here right yeah exactly I think the one in front of me is another F512, so it will be 512 battles. Or battling for a P5. There we go, P5 is mine. 13 seconds. Another 512, another bottle of 512s for P4. Nine seconds. It was 24 at the beginning of the race, if I remember correctly, or at least around the end of lap one. And again, he turns like I was never there. That's the AI way of driving. Straight into me. Three more to go, and four laps to go. Three positions, four laps. No. 
Now my leg on a clutch was quicker than my hand. And that was a misshift. Breaking there a bit too late. That's uh, the reason for that was because I was driving there faster than usual because I had no one in front of me to slow me down this time. I missed the braking point here as well, but everything's under control. So I think it was Italia, the one which is behind me now in my mirror, and that's in front is Enzo, I guess. So can 5.12 beat Enzo? I think it can. I have, I have a bit more than two laps to do that. And I'm right on his bumper. Oh, and he went really wide. I don't want to crush it to him. Let's drive fair and square. A truck race to the first corner. Yeah, I don't have chance. No chances whatsoever. I just need to find a little bit of space for a clean overtaking maneuver. Catch up, but it's really hard to overtake him now. force that position out of him. If I don't want to miss this.
time I messed it up. Uh, I'm going to finish it just for uh, for the extra credits and stuff. the same car that was a lot of fun and I think it can be done I'm getting used to that car okay give me my rewards it wasn't much but at least I'm on a million credits now and I'm going to try again the same car same race same opponents fair and square be more aggressive this time. I cannot waste time. I have to catch up with the first one as quickly as possible. Twenty-seven seconds. That's the difference between <laughs> me and him at the moment. Well, just next to him. That doesn't matter. 21 seconds, 7 laps to go. Oh, I released the clutch too quickly. While I was downshifting from 3 to 2. Still there on the left hand side. It's clean from my side. Surprisingly, that Italia is staying behind. I won't be complaining though. La Ferrari. That should be winning this race, right? I don't think that guy in the La Ferrari is up to the task. And I know it's AI, it's just fun to say. Can pretend they're drivers into scars for the sake of the video and the entertainment. Fourteen and a half seconds, six laps to go. the inside so that corner is mine another position gained a bit of oversteer at the exit 12 seconds a bit more than 12 
Hauptsache die Arbeit hin. So, there are three more opponents in front of me. So that's Italia. There will be another Italia, that British uh, nationality driver. And then the American guy is in, or lady, is in uh, Enzo. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. seconds still, a bit more than four laps. Just below the 3 seconds now, though it will increase to 3 seconds at the end of the straight because that ends of there as a rocket engine in comparison to what I have. And I think now they I will uh, increase the pace. That's what usually happens. So it was easy to catch up with him, but it will be much harder to overtake that Ferrari Enzo. I oh, will see, we'll see. That is a huge surprise, but if I'll be sliding like that, I won't keep that position. At least I hit that apex nicely, though I'm expecting that guy to be in front of me in a moment. but I'm losing some time here. It's 1.4 seconds now, 1.5. That's my best lap so far, at least at that stage. And, uh, but that Ferrari, uh, that Enzo was gaining the really quickly. Here's the fastest lap as well. 
But no, actually it's not him, someone else. And I messed up that last sector, it wasn't the fastest lap. Let's focus on the last two laps with that Enzo just briefing at my neck. Slower than a uh, whoa, big slide. My fastest lap, he's just below a second behind me. Okay, I increased the gap, but it's going down again just because of the difference in power. Up, I just want to keep that position. Gain a little bit again on that uh, on that corner, but he, I think he's faster in this section here. That was that corner, last lap as well. Went a little bit better this time. Okay, not bad, not bad. Final corner. I'm locking that apex. And I have enough gap to win this. My lap times were quite consistent. And it's a finish, P1. So 5.12 can win with both Enzo and LaFerrari. And Italias, but who cares about Italias, right? Cool, cool. So, and both clean race bonus and car handicap. That's what I like to see. So, that was uh, three attempts to win this one. One in Dino, that couldn't happen. I know I couldn't win. And uh, two in a 512. Uh, the next one will be Nürburgring. Uh, not Norschleif though, even though the map shows Norschleif there. It's a Nürburgring. The map shows on the right hand side. I'll take a short break and I'll be right back to attempt this one. Most probably in... I don't want to reuse the cars, so we tried Dino and yeah, that won't work. Uh, we tried 512, that worked. Uh, we will try F40. So F40 is uh, my next car of choice for La Festa, La Ferrari. Okay, I'll be right back. I literally need two minutes.
So, I am back. So, we have a Ferrari F40 against uh, the managers of all other Ferraris, La Ferrari, Enzo, Italia, some other F40s. Uh, some say that the 40 was the last real Ferrari. No driving helps. It was just the driver and the car. I think that was also the first Ferrari with turbo engine. Like all other Ferraris, till that moment, were naturally aspirated engines, and this one got a, a turbo. Now, I don't remember if it was 3 liters or 3.5 liter engine. I think it was V6, rather than the V12, and Ferrari was known for their V12s, right? And, um, and it got a turbo. So, let's see what we can do here. Um, it's quite light car. Uh, out of the out of the factory, only 1,100 kilograms. We could reduce it further, but I won't do that. Uh, so we can go. We can easily go even in 700, maybe in 800. No, 700, and it's 600, and then there is. I want to go 500. Here we go. That's what we're going to do. 1100 kilograms and 537 brake horsepower. We don't have traction control. We have the best tires possible for the car and I won't be changing anything else. And we're using a normal manual transition transmission. So we're going with eight shifter as it should be with that car, right? Sequential, sequential, so uh, I don't think they were available. In in a 40, especially in the road version of that car. Uh, okay, nothing to add. Let's try it. That car is a beast. Uh, one thing I want to do is to adjust the cockpit. If it hasn't been adjusted yet. Yeah, I want to go back and that can stay. Okay, I should be in the second gear. Oh, no, I should be in the third gear. Now I have no idea where to start braking. It was too late. So, obviously I know the car and I know the racetrack, but I don't know the combination. So I'll, it will take me a moment to learn where to brake and how that car behaves and so on. One of the things I'll have to find out it will be the braking points and the switch point where you know where you have a perfect moment to start braking and using a right leg for braking is a bit different than doing that with with left leg and puddles. Can I go on the outside? Start bumping into me. Oh my gosh, I misshifted. Again, what's wrong with this gearbox? I have just done three races with manual gearbox with pretty much no misshift. And here with this car... I 
I had like five of them already. I think second gear is actually better here. One thing I love about this car is the engine sound or noise. I don't think Ferrari can produce noise, right? Produce a beautiful engine sound. I don't like to use the first gear in that car because it's very short and I don't think I'm losing much by uh, negotiating those turns uh, on the second gear. Maybe that's the only place where I will downshift to first. But that's what I'm saying, it's, it's revving so quickly that the upshift to the second has to happen pretty much immediately. But that model, that F40, is so much nicer to drive in comparison to that F. To that Ferrari 512. And I'm not going, I'm not going to even mention Dino. Another miss shift from me in F40. That's quite a surprise to see La Ferrari so high in the on the grid. It's uh, P2. And he hit me. So what is currently on P1? Is it Italia or Enzo? It's, uh, it's too far away to tell. My bet goes uh, for Italia. May I stop that braking?
So it is uh, Italia 458. Now the question is, can I? Whoa, what is he doing? <laughs> Let's see if me having insight is enough to win that battle for P1. Yeah, I I could. And I did it. But I messed up here and I don't even know why. I don't think I was breaking later than usual. Anyway, the battle continues. all over the place. That's dangerous driving. A truck race to the next corner. I let him drive. We both messed up braking here. <laughs> I think I lost it. This is the final lap, he's five seconds in front. That was 8 seconds lost there. And I messed up this braking again. I don't know what's going on. Or I really don't. That is some bad driving from me. It's 7 seconds now. If I'm going to continue driving like that, I'll be P3, not P2. I know I can do it. It was it's a clean race up to that point. Catch up with him. P2 
two. And I have to attempt it again. Not the ideal situation, but yeah, that's, that is what it is. I think this is going to be my last attempt uh, before I'll be taking some break. Uh, it was an hour session now. And I'm getting hungry. Okay, let's try again. I think third gear is the right gear to start with. I need to find that correct breaking point for the first corner. I messed up twice there at the end. Why was he going to the middle? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Wouldn't it be ideal to stay to the left, especially when you don't have in front anyone in front, so you can just drive however you want. I try to cut over here. Okay, 24 seconds, let's do it, let's go. Italia at 40. That seems to be the Enzo, the white one in front. I'm not me messing up that shifting as much as I did in my first top 10 in that car. But it's all about getting used to... Whoa, stay! What the hell? He just was in front of me there. What are they doing? Instead of staying to the left where he was, he just jumped in front of me at the braking zone. That's such a stupid thing to do. And it's actually this allowed in racing. And it wouldn't be a problem if the cars were of equal performance, but they're not. I'm driving much older model of Ferrari, right? The braking. In real life at least, I'm not sure how game interprets that, but I'm assuming there is some kind of performance for braking in that game. So that F F40 should have worse brake than the new Italia or any other new Ferrari. Just purely based on the fact that they can use modern materials these days, which were not available in 92, or if they were available, they were not as widely used in car performance racing and, and so on and so on, right? And I really hope that the game, this game simulates it. And I know it's not full simulation, uh, Gran Turismo. Uh,
is he going to jump in front of me in the breaking game? Yes, of course. Because why wouldn't he? So, I'm P3 at the moment, or I should have said P2. And there is the P1 there, and this is lap 3 out of 6. I think that Ferrari in front now is uh, increasing its pace. Though, he's messing up the corners. And I'm going to use it against him. So he stayed uh, behind a little bit, two and a half seconds more or less. So the gap is staying at around 2 points, so oh, now it's uh, dropping actually, 2.1. that Ferrari behind me definitely pick up the pace. It's now 1.2 seconds. Uh, surprisingly, I'm still keeping the fastest lap. I thought he will have the fastest lap. So now I may stop that corner, so I'm expecting to lose that position. Oh, he's right here. Okay, okay. Yeah, he definitely picked up the pace. But he's also making a lot of mistakes because of that. That AI is so strange. I don't know how it was uh, programmed, but it just behaves crazy.
like they're trying to simulate desperation <laughs> of that drivers behind me. have finished that race. Okay, so we are back to 2.6 seconds. And a chicane and a corner. And we will be starting the final lap of this race. Drifting there. Oh, he's uh, catching up again. At least I didn't mess up the braking now. Back on the previous lap. Okay, let's stay focused. That's the final lap. Uh, less than one second behind me. Not good, really. Not good. A single simple mistake and the race is lost. I need to keep that inside always locked. I can see him on the radar now. Okay, good exit out of the corner, now that Chicane, or SS, Schmeher SS. Really wide here, not a good... Not a good exit, and I remember what happened last time. Okay, he's, uh, he's applying the pressure. 0 0.4 seconds, and I'm pretty sure... He will be faster here. Just one more corner. That was the final corner. And it's P1. Okay, so F40 can beat Italia, La Ferrari, and Enzo. 92 versus 0913 and 02. That was pretty cool. Good race. Uh, that was the last one for now. Uh, I need to take a rest. I need to eat something. I need to feed my son. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was uh, it was fun. I tried Dino as well in my first attempt, but Dino wasn't fast enough. And then I tried 5.12. 5.12 was fast enough, but on a different track. And then I tried that at 40 and here. And, uh, and the 40 can win it as well. Now, I still don't have a lot of money, unfortunately, uh, to buy a new car, new Ferrari. Uh, the next one will be Monza. And Monza, I will be attempting in Enzo, just because it's such a fast track, right? It's a temple of speed. So temple of speed requires a very fast car. Uh, I'll be reducing the power though. I, it's N700 and I want to stick to that N600. So that's what I'm going to do. And for now, I would like to all, I would like to thank you all for watching. I'll be probably back later in an hour or two, just to attempt the Monza in Enzo. And uh, for now, I wish you a nice Sunday, uh, Monday, it's Monday. It's bank holiday, so it feels like Sunday. 
So yeah, I wish you all a good Monday. And if I be here later, then hopefully you join me trying to beat other Ferraris on Monza in Enzo. See you all. Have a good one.